In today's news, the CCSA is set to meet this Friday to decide further easing of restrictions. Current relaxed travel restrictions have led to a tourism surge on Phuket and Koh Samui, and Thai schools will no longer have to close if someone gets COVID. That's all coming up in today's program. Today's show is brought to you by Tiger Property. For all your real estate needs in Thailand, link in the description below. สวัสดีครับ You're watching Thailand News Today, bringing you the latest top stories in Thailand and beyond. สำหรับคนไทยที่อยากอ่านภาษาไทยเปิดแคปชั่นด้านล่างได้เลยครับ The show is made possible by our supporters, and today we would like to thank Jan Gottschalk for becoming our latest Tiger member. My name is Jet Gunther, and in our first story, despite the quickly declining trend in COVID cases in Thailand, heavy restrictions remain. Here's a summary of what is still in place. The country is still under an emergency decree, which will last at least until the end of this month, and could be extended again for another two months, as it has since April of 2020. The emergency decree bypasses all COVID-related matters and budget from the Thai Parliament, with the CCSA, chaired by the Prime Minister, meeting every two weeks and updating all restrictions and legislations. The CCSA is set to meet this Friday to decide further easing of restrictions around the country and any changes to the Thailand Pass. Thailand still has an official ban on bars, although many former bars and nightlife destinations have converted into faux restaurants, allowing them to serve alcohol until midnight, which is the current legal closing time in Thailand. There also remains an enforcement on the wearing of face masks in public areas, but that may start to be eased in some locations in some situations over the next month under the nickname of Endemic Sandbox. People traveling to Thailand, both foreign and Thai, are still required to apply for entry via the Thailand Pass. Travelers have to upload their vaccination paperwork, passport details, and proof of COVID insurance coverage of at least 10,000 U.S. dollars. Thais and foreigners with a current work permit are exempt from the insurance coverage, as they are covered by Thailand's universal health care system. Vaccinated or under-vaccinated arrivals will need to also upload proof of a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours before departure to Thailand. If the unvaccinated traveler is unable to provide a negative PCR test, they will have to quarantine for five days. Despite the plummeting numbers of COVID infections, Thailand was ranked number nine in the world for new cases, according to worldometers.info. The Thai government says relaxed travel restrictions have led to a tourism surge on Phuket and Koh Samui. Patting itself on the back, the Thai government says its decision to ease entry restrictions has boosted tourism during the country's high season between March and May. Government spokesman Tanakon Wangbun Kongchana pointed out that up to 10,000 foreign travelers are entering the country each day, adding that at the moment tourists are entering the country in small groups rather than large tour groups. According to a Nation Thailand report, Tanakon says that over the weekend of May 13th to the 16th, Phuket welcomed over 150,000 tourists, a figure that's expected to generate tourism revenue of around 1.8 billion baht. The province's occupancy rate during such long holidays was 44.4%. The spokesperson says that the occupancy rate is likely to increase to between 60 and 80%, especially in popular spots like Batong Beach and Phuket Old Town. Meanwhile, over on Koh Samui and Koh Phangan, many tourists arrive for the famous full moon party, helping to revive the local economy. Good morning, Thailand gets up to 80,000 viewers per week, and we'd like to weaponize our audience for you. That's right, so if you have a business or property or even your house that you'd like to sell. Private yacht? Yeah, it could, we could be in space. We're not sure about space. Well, all you have to do is contact us on info at the tiger.com and you can hire us up to a day or even a week and we'll go to your property and do the show live. Good morning, Thailand, coming your way. 
Thai schools will no longer have to close if a student, teacher, or staff member tests positive for COVID-19. That's according to the Department of Health. The department's deputy director general, Sara Wutbunsuk, has confirmed the new policy as the new school term gets underway today. According to a Thai PBS World Report, if a student, teacher or school staff member is found to have contracted the virus, health officials and school management will work together on isolation measures that allow the school to remain open. Sarawood says if an infected student is asymptomatic or only has mild symptoms, he or she can remain in class but must be kept at least two meters from other students and will be unable to participate in group activities. He adds that the classroom must be kept well ventilated and disinfected often. In the event of a low-risk patient at day schools, on-site learning can continue provided disease prevention measures are adhered to. Low-risk students can attend class, provided they are seated a meter away from others. In the case of a high-risk patient who is not vaccinated, the student will be advised to quarantine at home for five days, plus another five days under observation, whether he or she has symptoms or not. High-risk patients who are fully vaccinated and asymptomatic can still attend class. Meanwhile, in boarding schools, high-risk cases can participate in lessons from a quarantine zone for five days, plus an additional five days of observation. Infected students who are fully vaccinated and asymptomatic will not need to quarantine. In related news, Gitipum Wongdarit from the Public Health Ministry says students, teachers and school staff members who travel during the long weekend should take an antigen test prior to returning to school today. However, he added that such testing is not mandatory, but merely a recommendation. A Thai woman is seriously injured after falling from the 26th floor of a condo in Bangkok at around 2 a.m. on Sunday. Rescue teams arrived at the scene within five minutes, but the woman had to wait until 4 a.m. to receive treatment at the hospital. The woman suffered multiple broken bones. Erewhon Emergency Center took the woman to a hospital one kilometer away from the scene, who allegedly denied her emergency treatment. The hospital said the woman's injuries were too severe for them to treat because they did not have, quote, enough equipment. The rescue team then took her to Police General Hospital instead, where she received treatment at 4 a.m. Thai netizens are outraged that it took two hours for the woman to receive hospital treatment. According to Thai media, the woman fought with her foreign boyfriend and jumped off the balcony of a condo in the Ramkhamhang area of Bangkok. The woman broke both of her legs in the fall and suffered other minor injuries. Miraculously, she did not suffer any head injuries. From miraculous, we now have tragically unfortunate. A farmer was killed by a lightning strike in a cow field in Buriram province in northeast Thailand yesterday evening. The 53-year-old woman was herding her cows into their cow shed to escape the storm when she was struck. Juanida was out working in the fields with her 53-year-old relative Tong Bai when it started raining heavily yesterday evening. Tong Bai said the pair were in the Gatom field when the sky began to darken, so Juanida suggested walking to the cow field to herd the cows into their shed to escape the rain. Once the pair arrived in the cow field, Tong Bai said the storm worsened and she could barely see in front of her. She heard loud thunder and saw a flash of lightning. Next thing she knew, nine cows were huddled around the body of their owner, Juanita, who had been struck dead by lightning. Juanita's 50-year-old husband, Sakan, said he thinks Juanita's silver earrings acted as a medium for the lightning to travel through. Around 10% of people struck by lightning are killed. Juanita's body has been returned to her family for religious ceremonies. An eight-year-old girl was seriously injured after she was attacked by her family dog at around 4 p.m. yesterday in Smut Prakan province in central Thailand. The child said she was skateboarding in the kitchen when the pit bull and Thai mixed breed dog suddenly got up and repeatedly bit her head and hands. The dog in question was the family's pet Kola, a 10-year-old pit bull and Thai mixed breed dog. The child's father said he took on the dog when its previous owner passed away. He said he had raised the dog for many years and it had never been aggressive or bitten anyone in the house before. He said he doesn't know why Kola attacked his daughter this time around. Apichada said she was skateboarding next to the washing machine near where Kola was lying down when the dog suddenly got up and bit her. 
The girl, Apichada, called her relatives for help who were asleep at the time. Apichada's 39-year-old father rushed into the kitchen and got Kola off his daughter and tied him up. Then he called an ambulance for help. She had two dog bites on her head, around two centimeters and four centimeters long. Thai media reported that her left hand had been chewed by the dog. The child received first aid at the scene and was taken to Prat Samujedi Hospital for treatment. In March, two children narrowly escaped when three pit bulls broke into their family home and killed their cat in Ganjanapuri province in western Thailand. And that concludes our report from Thailand News Today. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, you're now up to date on the Tiger.